Link TV, connecting you to the world. Link TV is viewer supported. Watch more at linktv.org. I'm in a sort of tough corner here with this conversation because throughout it there have been uh, ways in which the Western world is recommended to see more accurately the lived experience of Muslims across those many countries, to understand what is done in Europe and North America has a big effect on their lives, to understand how their policies affect daily life. But here's the tough spot. When the West tries to think about, talk about Islam, uh, Westerners are always cautioned, oh, you don't understand, you don't understand this, you don't understand that. And we're told, no, 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 there is no separation of church and state. It's a totally different idea. The church and the state are bound up into one seamless garment so that uh, religious life is suffused through the daily life that everybody lives. And you say, okay. But then if I were to run down a long list of the things that are going wrong in the Muslim world, in the daily um, happenstance that people in the West watch and recoil from, some of those same people turn around and say, oh, well, that's not Islam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Does there have to be a better self-critique in the Muslim world where certain problems in the societies have to be acknowledged so that the conversation doesn't always end up in that dead end where you say, well, here are all these countries and here's this that's not great and here's this that's going wrong and everybody says, oh, 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 that's not Islam. Well, I think there is a recognition, actually, a very deep recognition of self-critique, uh, where we ask ordinary people, what do you admire least about the Muslim world? And we get a long list of things that people do criticize about their own society. Likewise, we get a long list of things that Americans criticize about their society. But if you were to ask people, are these things that you criticize about your society, you're saying you're a Christian nation or a nation built on Christian principles, are these because of Christianity? The answer would be, oh, that's not Christianity. The fact that we have high crime and a breakdown in moral values, that's certainly not Christianity. Likewise, Muslims would say it's the lack of an application of Islamic values that is the problem, and that's the reason why we uh, see these things in Muslim societies. So in both cases, uh, societies believe that their faith or the dominant faith in their society informs the uh, formation of their nation, but at the same time have a long list of criticisms that they rightfully point to the fact that they aren't because of the religion. Yeah, this goes back, I think, uh, it circles back to the beginning of our discussion very well. Uh, and what I was saying about religions being neither peaceful nor, nor violent. Religion is whatever people of religion say it is. This may come as an uncomfortable thing to say for a lot of people, but Osama bin Laden is as much a Muslim as I am. Uh, it, 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 I think it's sometimes easy to sort of have an idealized conception of what faith should be, and that anything that doesn't fit uh, one's own ideals, therefore, is simply rejected as not Islam or not Christianity. Um, but the truth of the matter is that religion in all parts of the world, even here in the United States, is more than just about personal faith. It's more than just about a personal confessional experience. It's about identity. It's about who one is. It's about one's sense of self in an indeterminate world. Um, and all of those things are going to be wrapped up in one's politics, one's social views, uh, one's economic views, um, and they cannot be separated uh, in, in that regard. So for, I think, a lot of people, when they talk about that, you know, their, their, their identity as Muslims or their identity as Christians or what have you, it cannot be separated from their identity as Americans or their identity as Egyptians or Iranians or whatever that may be. It's true of all cultures, of all societies that social, political, economic issues are going to be framed in the language of religion because it is the language of religion that holds the most currency for the masses. Our job, I think, as thinkers, as scholars, as commentators, is to learn to separate uh, the, the language of religion from the reality of the issues being discussed. We in the United States are perfectly comfortable 
with our politicians speaking in unapologetically Christian language. We have no problem if, say, the House Majority Leader, Tom DeLay, previous House Majority Leader, stands on the floor of Congress and calls down the wrath of God upon federal judges who happen to disagree with him on issues of right to death. But if we see a politician in the Muslim world also frame his social or political agenda in, in similar religious language, in the language of Islam, we immediately label it as theocratic in some sense. We have to get to the point where we recognize that religion is more than just about faith, it's about identity. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world. To learn more, visit linktv.org.